God, I just thank you for all of who you are and all of what you have done and what you do, God. Our hearts are forever grateful. We just say blessing and honor and glory and power belongs to you. And you are worthy to receive it forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And you can be seated. Welcome you to our Friday nights at Pie Hop, which is not really a Pie Hop. <laughs> it's at Westminster Press, but uh, so grateful to have you guys here. Um, just a little bit about the vision of tonight is that we're, um, we're longing to just have a place where the region can gather and experience the Lord in worship and then experience the Lord in the word, and then to take time and minister to one another. And so part of the heart of tonight is that we would be a place where um, people can be trained in the region to minister, that we would all know how to cast out a demon, we would all know how to heal the sick, we would all know how to minister in the heart of of God. And so um, we long to have really great ministry time on nights like this. And so we're doing trainings. Um, Starting next, actually starting tomorrow, there's a training to be on the ministry team on Friday nights. And we just invite anyone. There's no membership of Pi Hop. And so um, part of my upbringing in just this whole, I graduated from Biola and then ended up going to Anaheim, Santa Monica Vineyard um, on Sunday mornings. And then because Keith Green went there, that's why he got saved there. And it was like I had read this book called No Compromise, and it was like this was the Christianity I was longing for my whole life. So I um, was living at Watt and Watts at the time, and um, I decided, let me go. I'll just go. I'm sure that's where the Christianity is that I've always wanted. So I did, and then I would go to Anaheim Vineyard in the night, because lots of people did. And um, in that, there was this huge ministry team. And it wasn't just all the people of Anaheim Vineyard. It was people from everywhere, from Presbyterian churches, Methodist churches, everywhere. And it was basically a playground or a prayer ground for people to come and just get confident in how to minister the heart of God, how to um, cast out demons. You know, the craziest part, I'll never forget this. I mean, this was over and over, almost every Sunday. John Wimber would say, Holy Spirit, come. And people would manifest demons, just instantly. I know, it would scare me. I started hyperventilating. (laughs) I came out of a Bible background. I was a Presbyterian most of my life. I was like, may it not happen to me. (laughs) But anyway, um, but they would just, it was no problem. They just left. I mean, people knew how to do this in a quick way. They didn't have to go through five hours of deliverance. They would just quickly cast it out. So I'm just, I long for this partly because I believe there's a new wave of salvations coming to this region. And the Lord longs for his people to be well, just confident in how to minister to these ones who are coming in. So um, one of the words that have been given to us is that just from the Lord and been confirmed a few times is that a million are coming Um, in the next, I don't know. I mean, I've been praying for revival for 20 years, so I don't know. I think it's sooner than later. But I would say, I believe it's in the next five years that you're going to see a million come into, it's going to feel like the Jesus culture again. Being the Jesus people movement. And we already have that right now, huh? (laughs) They just came to our region. (laughs) Um, but may it be again. I mean, I from even people I know who evangelize on the streets, they're saying it feels like it again. There's such a hunger. And so may we be ready for that. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I'm just advertising my training tomorrow. I get to do the training, so I'm excited. And it's from 10 to 1, and it's down at Pie Hop. It's actually in the large prayer room. We usually don't use that for things like this, but we are tomorrow. So um, it was supposed to be here. We keep switching it. You have to pay really close attention to us. <laughs> Only, yeah, the narrow gate. Okay. So, um, also, I wanted to um, announce just, I, I announced it last week, but I'm going to announce it again. We are sending out our first mission teams um, out of Pi Hop. And you're like, 
like, but you're not a church. Yeah, but we're a house of prayer, and people that pray a lot are probably going to go. Just, <laughs> it's just inevitable. And so the heart of what we're um, doing is we've had some people that we have been praying for two years through Skype appointments. They're on the field. They're long-term missionaries in different regions. Um, they're both in unpeached, un unreached people group areas. Um, we can't announce even where they are. Um, but we are going to go to refresh them. Yeah. So that's the main purpose of why we're sending teams there, is to prophesy, do inner healing, to worship and intercession. Yeah. So pre pretty much our DNA, we're going and we're just going to refresh long-term workers. Mm -hmm. So it's the, the couple that we've been praying for in two different regions, plus their whole team. And so... Um, I guess I'm not allowed to announce where this team's going, Central I guess, right? Asia. Cent okay, Central Asia. So I'm going to have those who are part of this team to come up so everybody just can see you. that has missions on it. And if you want to give to this, because where they're going, just the plane ticket is $2,500. Just the plane ticket. Um, so it's not cheap to do this, but it is worth it. Because I believe if you encourage long-term workers, if they don't feel drained because they had you, but they feel full because they had you, and they are filled, and then we give them tools that they can stay filled you are going to see a difference in the region Amen. because they are not so tired or whatever that is. You know, all the warfare that's in some of these places is so difficult. So here we go. Let me have Ben. Yeah, I just want to read Malachi 1.11. For from the rising of the sun even to its going down, my name shall be great among the nations. In every place incense shall be offered to my name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations says the Lord of hosts. For me, I'm so excited for what Pi Hop is moving into because my heart is both for the prayer movement and the missions movement. And so here we see them coming together. And it's so encouraging for me that we're not just going to minister and then leave, but this is investment. We've already invested into these missionaries. And so for me, I, I really desire impact. I want to see that what we're doing isn't just a one-time thing, but we've actually been giving ourselves to these couples, to these um, workers in the field for years. And so what, when we're going, the field has already been plowed. And so I'm excited just to see what the Lord is going to do in these two weeks that we're going to be spending in Central Asia. And so I would just ask that you would pray for us. Um, we are a house of prayer, but we want to encourage yeah. prayer. And so please do be praying for us. Please do give. Um, this is just one of several trips. And so just to be um, just asking the Lord, how can I support what Pi Hop is doing? Yeah, yeah. You guys have a look at this trip. Um, it's an unreached people group. It's it's a uh, religious group that um, God wants his inheritance from. And you know what's fascinating about the House of Prayer? It's perfect for missions. Because out of intimacy is going to be birthed ministry. And that's what we desire, is to disciple many in intimacy with Christ. Yeah. Equip them. Equipping the saints with tools and things to, to bless them in their relationship with the Lord and how they hear God, how they strategize, how they get filled, and how do they respond to a culture that has deep longings and wounds by pulling the deep longings of Jesus for that group. And so that's what we desire. So this, this one right here, these two, they just got married how yeah. many weeks ago? And they, um, the only reason they're going on this trip is because the Lord spoke. And because um, 
the Lord gave a dream and just made it very clear they were to go. And um, it's really helpful because he's been on the Skype team for you, for a, over a year. And so it really is helpful to have someone going who's been doing it long term. And But again, I mean, it says let the bridegroom and the bride leave their chambers. They have lost them. They're going to the mission field for two weeks. So amen. Um, but let me just introduce the rest of them. So this is Stephanie, Suzanne. John, Judy, and this was Ben and AJ. So yeah, may the Lord put them on your hearts. And, and I'm going to have Lois go ahead and pray for them. Lois is part of the sending team. There's a group of senders who are just taking extra time to pray for them. So, yeah, Father, we just thank you for this team that you have chosen and that you have called, Lord. And I just pray that... Um, as they go, that you would really go with them. I just pray that during the preparation time, that you would fill them with your spirit, Lord. That you would fill them with the refreshing waters, um, the living water of your spirit. And I just ask that um, you would just fill them with such peace um, and readiness. Um, and I pray, Lord, that you would supply all their financial needs, Lord. Um, that you just pour out abundantly more they could, than they could ask or imagine, Lord. Yeah. So that when they go, um, they could go easily and then also bless those who are there with a financial provision as well. And we just thank you uh, for choosing this team. And I just pray that you would um, bind them together with the bonds of peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we're actually leaving in about three weeks, and so um, that's crazy, and, and we need um, fun. So I want to just announce that a week from this Sunday, we're still kind of getting all the details together, but a week from this Sunday, we're going to have a fundraising worship and dinner night. And so if you're interested, we'll be at the back table, and we'll just kind of take down your name. It's going to be around like $20 just to have a great meal, and then to spend time in worship and just hear a little bit more about what we'll be doing. So if you're interested in that, maybe you can't give a lot, but you can go to dinner there instead of sushi or whatever, that would be awesome. So we'll have like Middle Eastern food, it'll be really fun. So that'll be August 4th, about 6.30 p.m. Amen. Well, we're going to go ahead and take our offering for tonight, and you can make checks out to Pi Hop, and we also take credit cards, so if you're interested in giving to us through credit cards,